Hello everyone, this is Rick Merman with Mercive Technologies and this is the Mercive Minute. If there's a topic you'd like to see me cover, please leave me a message down below and I'll be happy to get to it. So we've got a very special edition of the Mercive Minute today. Today we're going to be talking about Solstice Conference. Now Solstice Conference is available on our software platform 5.0 or later. So if your pod has version 5.0 or later, you can enable Solstice Conference. So what is Solstice Conference? It's a completely agnostic conferencing platform. Well, what does that mean? It's agnostic to soft codecs, meaning your Teams, your WebEx, Zoom, Skype, GoToMeeting, whatever soft codec you and your organization use. It's also agnostic to the type of devices that it can connect to. I have a Logitech conference cam here, but we also work with a myriad of other devices, your USB PTZ cameras, uh, huddle cameras, audio devices, speaker audio combinations, third-party DSPs. Um, we're going to be using them. We can simply plug them into the back of the pod. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a pod brand new out of the box, and I am going to set it up to be able to do Solstice Conference, and we're going to do a test conference call. So let's take this out of the box first. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to disconnect my pod and I'm going to be connecting three cables to this pod. One is my Ethernet cable that's going to be running my network. One is my HDMI cable that's going to be going out to my display. And the last cable is a USB cable that I have connected to my Logitech conference cam. Now you may have two USB devices, one for your camera and one for your audio, and you just be plugging them in on the USB 3.0 ports in the back of the pod. So I'm going to disconnect my pod here and let me plug in this new one. Now after it's plugged in, it takes about a minute for the pod to boot up. So I'm going to fast forward time here and I'll see you back in one minute. Okay, it looks like we're all booted up. So the next thing we're going to want to do is configure the pod. Now I'm going to be using Solstice Dashboard, but if you have uh, more than a few pods or you're an enterprise client, I would highly recommend using Solstice Cloud, which is our cloud-based platform. Everything I'm going to do with the Dashboard, you can do in cloud. Okay, so let's share my screen here. And I've got Dashboard open. The first thing we're going to want to do is import our pod. So I'm going to discover it, and we see our pod here. I'm going to import that. Now, this is where you would name your pod. You would do your network configuration of the pod. You'd use the MRSA discovery services uh, so that you can do location finding for the pods, which is integral to using our Solstice Conference. Uh, you could set up the backgrounds. You could do anything you wanted. Today, we're going to strip all that down. I'm just going to show you how to do Solstice Conference. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take a look at the appearance and usage and we're going to want to scroll down. Uh, now the pod comes default with Solstice Conference disabled, so you'll need to enable it. So we're going to want to enable that, and we're going to press apply. And the next thing we're going to do is configure the calendar. Now you would just tie this in with the room calendar, but I'm just in my home office here, so I'm going to use the calen my calendar to tie that in. So I'm going to enable that, and let's enter in my username and password. And we're going to apply that, and you'll see here in a matter of seconds, it's going to pull up the room schedule for the room. There it is. Okay, so we've got that portion complete. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is take a look at the application itself, the Solstice application on our desktop. And we're going to want to go to the Settings tab. And under General, we're going to want to do the calendar integration via the app. This gives the app the ability to look at your calendar and take a look at your meetings and auto-launch the codec that you have. So if it's a Zoom meeting, it'll launch Zoom. A Teams meeting, it'll launch Team. WebEx, Skype, it will launch those codecs automatically for you. I'm going to show you that in just a second. So let's sign in here. It's going to be the same process. I'm just going to enter in my username and password here. OK. Now we can see it says you have signed into your Microsoft calendar. So that means we are all ready to go. We've got one thing left to do. We go down here to the lower right-hand corner in our taskbar. We can see this S. When I click that, you can already see it's taking a look at my calendar, and it says Bridge to Solstice Conference World Domination Meeting with Zoom. 
So it knows that it's a Zoom meeting because it's taking a look at your calendar. And three things are gonna happen when I enter in this four digit screen key. The screen key is up here in the, in the upper left corner. When I enter that in, it is going to auto launch the codec and jump me into the meeting via Zoom, Skype, WebEx, what have you. It is going to share my display wirelessly, my laptop here that I have wirelessly up to the display. And it is also going to connect the USB devices that are connected to the pod to my laptop wirelessly, okay? So I'm going to be connected to this Logitech conference cam wirelessly with no cables connected. All right, so let me share my entire screen here so you can see what it looks like from my laptop. And I'm gonna jump myself into the meeting. Let's take a look at this three digit or four digit key, 3510. And you can see it says connected to Solstice Pod starting an online meeting. It is also starting to launch Zoom automatically for me because it knows it's a Zoom meeting from the calendar. So you see here, I am jumped in. I am going to, uh, let's open this up a little bit. And we're gonna join uh, via the computer audio. And we can see already it's connected to the Logitech conference cam. Let me let, and I'll show you here. We can see echo cancellation, conference cam, conference cam. Let's take a look at the video, conference cam. So now I am connected to the Logitech conference cam for the camera, the speaker, and the microphone. Sean, can you hear me okay? Hey, Rick. Yes, I can. All right. Now, it, Sean's going to be a little quiet because I'm just using my lapel microphone here to pick him up. And there's also a little bit of a delay because of the soft code at conferencing. But what I wanted to show here is how I use my laptop wirelessly to connect to the pod, to launch the codec, to connect uh, the uh, camera, audio devices, what have you in the space. Now you can kind of see how the sausage is made here because I got some weird background stuff here. I don't usually show my room from this angle. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, where things really start to get exciting here is when you share content. So what I'm going to do now is share content in the meeting. So let's go to share my screen and I am going to share my screen. And now you see my full screen. Let's go back to Let's do the full camera here. So now you see my laptop shared on the screen. Sean, can you see the content that I'm sharing? Yep. All right. Your shared content. Okay. So Sean sees the shared content here. Now, where things really start to get exciting is if someone comes into the room and they've never heard of Zoom, they don't have Zoom or WebEx or Skype or whatever conference you have, they can still share content to the pod and that content will be shared in the conference meeting. So you don't have to have multiple people all dialing into the Zoom meeting to share and they leave their microphones on, they leave their cameras on. Um, there's a big, you know, a lot of issues there. I could have never heard of Zoom in my life. All I know how to do is use Apple AirPlay or Miracast or share via the Solstice application and I can share in a conference. So I'm gonna pretend that I'm another user. I walk in with my iPhone and I want to share content. So I'm gonna do screen mirroring and I see the screen key here. And here we go. I am now sharing my camera, direct from my camera in this conference call. So Sean, can you see the content that I'm sharing right now? Yep, now I see two pieces, your original desktop share and your phone share. Okay. So you can see how powerful this is if multiple people came into the room, only one person needs to join the meeting. Everyone else in the room does not have to have Teams or Zoom or WebEx or any of that stuff. They can share directly to the pod and that content gets sent to the far end. Super powerful, super agnostic, any kind of soft codec you want, any kind of uh, audio camera devices that you want, and really truly any way you want to share, you can share in a Solstice conference. For more information about Sol Solstice conference, please visit Mersive.com. This is Rick Merman and Sean Bradley with Mersive, and we'll talk again soon.